come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we are on a quest to take over your reality. Oh, These- <laughs> that means a lot tonight. <laughs> These are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. We're not the bad guys, Colin. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, if we keep, continue down this road, somebody may shoot us. This, I mean, yeah, the things got felt a little be. too real at certain yeah. points. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I feel like at best we're the anti <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, tonight we watch a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Uh, what do we watch tonight? <laughs> we plugged into existence. Uh, <laughs> there it is. From yeah. the year. Two, 19, oh, sorry, 1999. Yeah, yes. felt like it. All right, directed <laughs> the by. Edge of the Millennia, yeah. Yes. David Cronenberg. Cronenberg. His first original script since Videodrome. Okay. Wow. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Because, I mean, well, that's the thing about David Cronenberg. Like, we always think of him, I always think of him as like a horror director, but Mm -hmm. he's really not. Or a science fiction director, but he's really not. He's his own subgenre that's like a weird blend of the two, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was actually sitting here watching the movie tonight, and I'm like, you know, this is a guy who has like such a specific, like you can actually kind of you can see how he feels about a subject mm-hmm. like you're really actually he's talking to you through the movie and the only other person i like can think of off the top of my head was like a david lynch you know mm-hmm. who's like got a very specific like there's nobody else who can make him like you know a movie was lynchian or yeah. but, but i'm not convinced david lynch is trying to say anything in any of his movies that's the difference yeah. i well, don't I'm, think he's trying to say there. anything other than nonsense i'm with you there he's trying to convey what a dream or a nightmare feels like maybe like he's he's the best at like it's a pod for another time yeah we're gonna watch a david lynch movie mm, we did we did but yeah yes okay so this movie i feel like we need to revisit the subject of lynch though because i don't think dune was a fair that's right. That's, that's not a fair. That's a cluster. Not, yeah, right? That's, that's a, a cluster. He did that under duress. Yes. Yeah, it was obvious. I felt I was under <laughs> duress watching it. So, we all yeah. were. <laughs> Cronenberg, what's your favorite Cronenberg movie? Uh, I mean, 1970s Crimes of the Future. I'm looking at his thing right now, and he, the Crimes of the Future pops up way back when. Yeah, he did yeah, a short yeah. film. Yeah, interesting. But I mean, it's also his latest. Comedy. His latest movie is Crimes of the Future. Right. Also, yeah. same yeah. title. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, The Fly. Probably, yeah. you know, I do like Videodrome. No, I actually <laughs> I like think the fly this is one's the most, the most accessible. No, I think this one's the most accessible. Over the Over fly, the, yeah. Ooh. The fly is way more gross really? in this movie. Oh. I think accessible as far as as as. And this one has stars. This one has like, I mean, right. the, yeah, yeah. It's, and, the fly is a love story with a kind of a B movie. He's it's yeah. like an elevated B movie thing. This one is much more cerebral. You would yeah, say. but yeah. you say it's less. Uh, I violent? I feel like it's it's. The people it's, who would be grossed yeah. out by the fly well, might not might be. be able to stomach this a little no, better. No, no, we're gonna have to the ask fly, Holly about that. <laughs> the fly had a lot of puke. It, it, there's a lot of puke yeah. in the fly, and well, that's for me is like yeah. really tough. You I know? guess that's the thing. Like, who coined the phrase "body horror"? Because we always attribute that to David Cronenberg, yeah. right? It's like he's he the created, godfather of it. Yeah, yeah. Of it, yeah. And that is some kind of um, it involves like disease or um, you know something that happened like mutilation of the body. And and he's passed it on because doesn't his son? um, Yeah, Brandon Cronenberg. Didn't he make the one where you get diseases from famous people? Antiviral. Yeah, I thought he did Possessor. Right, that was the second one. uh, Didn't he just have a new one? I believe. Yeah, I saw it. It's definitely he's a Cronenberg. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Like father, but I love. That that had like really like big popular people right now in it like yeah. getting Mia Goth and um, Alexander Skarsgård in it together I was right. like oh yeah. my god and he was borrowing it. people for Crimes of the Future because isn't Viggo Mortensen in that one yeah but who Viggo Mortensen in History of Violence he's in a lot of his, yeah. right and um, uh, Eastern Promises and uh-huh. you know. um, uh, <laughs> Colin goes and um and we <laughs> named yeah, the movie yeah. <laughs> didn't he do uh, the Freud um, oh uh, Freud um, a, a Dangerous Fro- Method yeah Dangerous yeah. Method yeah, yeah. Dangerous yeah. Method yeah Viggo Mortensen yeah so like Keira Knightley's in that as well yeah Viggo Mortensen and David Cronenberg it's kind of like that's his muse I like 
like it. it was, yeah, I like it. Used him in several things. Um, I mean, it's a good choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, Cronenberg's also done a bunch of dramas. I mean, you said History of Violence. That's yeah. like uh, mm-hmm. that's actually that might be his most accessible. Movie. That is, yeah. and, and yeah. even there, even then, there's a little of that Cronenberg weirdness in there because I remember yeah. that Ed Harris comes back after he's dead and he's yeah. talking to him and he's got the like the gunshot wound mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. yeah, there's still that weirdness mm-hmm. in it, but yes, yeah, probably the most accessible. Mm-hmm. So, Cronenberg, mm-hmm. I guess, Cronenberg. moved from being a guy, he got to start doing movies like The Brood or um, Shivers. Shivers, which, yeah, yes. we did that one mm-hmm. here, right? We watched Shivers. We watched Shivers, and right? did we do yeah. Rabbit as well? Did we, we did do Rabbit. Both? I was yeah. not here yeah. for Rabbit. Yeah. But. So, the only thing of that, for, we didn't do Scanners, which Fast was the company? one, I think, the one that... S- I do like right. Scanners a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm scanners bringing scanner, is good. I'm going to have to wait now because we've done this, but oh, yeah. Scanners has always been on the list. It's a good time. I think Scanners is my favorite, Yeah, honestly. Yeah? It's a fun one. I'll never I not love The Fly. Yeah. yeah, The Fly is good. Videodrome yeah. was one before. I that. like Videodrome, but, but not only... as much as as it gets. I feel like that one gets more attention than it deserves, hey, I We guess. did Videodrome. We did. Oh, Videodrome. Okay. Videodrome. Was, Videodrome. It's, yeah. I've only seen it once, and I was just kind of put off by it. But yeah. the more I watch of Cronenberg, <laughs> you're just like, okay, it's... <laughs> Part, part of what of the, he yeah. it's part of what he yeah, is. Yeah, you have to ex- you have to so, go into any movie by him knowing it's going to put. You doesn't on. help it's right. James Woods in that movie either. That's yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Not he's just got a, yeah. yeah, he's very often. Yeah, yeah, he's got a face. Yeah, he's, what? Yeah. Well, he uh, isn't he, he a crazy person on the internet now, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's not a good dude. Yeah, <laughs> he did a bunch of uh, Cronenberg did a bunch of um, like kind of moved over into drama sometime after mm-hmm. the fly, right? Because he Dead did. I mean, it's not drama, but. Yeah, but did a Stephen King movie, right? Mm -hmm, But he did, um, like, M. Butterfly, and he did... uh, (laughs) uh, um, So uh, weird. Yeah, Dead Dead Ringers. Ringers. Yeah, Yeah, okay, Dead Ringers is also... Now that we're talking about remembering all these Cronenberg movies, I actually really like... I like Dead Ringers. Colin, have you seen that new show? The new Dead Ringers show? No. Have you seen the ads for it? Yeah, Yeah, it looks visually very cool. Yeah, Yeah, it's like gender flipped, and yeah, Rachel Weisz is in it, and it's on... Amazon or something? Because Jeremy Irons should have won the Oscar for yes, that one, but accepted it for awesome. Reversal of Fortune I think, uh, the following year. Uh, um, Spider? Yeah, did you guys ever watch Spider? No. Yeah, I, Spider, what, I liked was, was that a Ray lot. Fiennes, yeah, that was Ray Fiennes. Okay. And I never like, saw it, but I remember seeing it because it's from 2002, and I'm just like, this feels so of that era, of that yeah. like 1998 to like 2003 era. Yeah, or it, kinda, 2002, it a didn't really do there. like a bunch of business, if I remember, but I mean, it was yeah. a solid movie, and it, it I thought it was pretty good. Um, I never did see Cosmopolis, right? With, no, I no, didn't. I missed that one, too. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. How was yeah, it? It was okay. Pants Is it a lot of just him riding around in a limo? It, yeah. Well, there's quite That's a bit. what it seemed like in the trailer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like, okay, and what? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite. Gotcha. Yeah. That, but that was yeah. the anti-Twilight movie that Pattinson was yes. trying to get out of Twilight. Yeah. The David Cronenberg mm-hmm. movie. Liked it so much, he did it with him again in Maps of the Stars. That I was saw the next that movie one. after that one. I did not like that one, but I think it was the yeah, novel that, that it was, was based on. But, mm-hmm. Which was from the guy who was a screenwriter on Nightmare on Street 3. okay. Yeah. So he's had an interesting career, yes. we'll say. And his latest movie is another science fiction movie, and mm-hmm. it's Crimes of the Future. Mm-hmm. And I I did like that one also. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's a return to this kind of thing, which yes. it feels like this is of a league of like Videodrome or mm-hmm. something like that, where like he's going out there, right? Mm-hmm. Talking about what? What's the subject of this movie? Existential. Well, this movie walked so Inception could run. Uh, it is about... We're in a without bringing so much future. attention to the layers yes, of levels. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're we're in some sort of Cronenbergian future of some sort. Yeah. Um, and we are introduced Which is basically off the turning into our real future. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. This is so like metaverse. With, next, without, the next with, step of metaverse without the playable uteri. I will say <laughs> that's that. next. That that's seems next. like what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, flick that nipple and yeah. you're right in there. <laughs> so we're in a nearest future where there's a new game being developed, and the way game systems works because it's a Cronenberg world, it's like a living flesh console. All right, we got a flesh console for the folks yes. at home. So yeah, what what are we what? How does this thing See, work? It, it, that would be the that would be the direct video and, version of this yeah. flesh console. Yeah, flesh console. it looks like some sort of weird convoluted sex toy or something. Almost, it had yeah. that fake rubbery look to it. As soon you know? as they said the words flesh pod, yeah, you were like, I'm out. I was like, Here it is. <laughs> 
Here it is. <laughs> yes. And you connect to it through umbi cords, which is a port in your spine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And an, um, an actual umbilical cord. Yes, plugs that plugs into, into the, the pod. Yeah. Yes. Organic USB port. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my God. You imagine when they change the ports and you got to get refitted. It's USB C now. So you got to upgrade that. Oh my pain God. in the ass. I'm having upgrade surgery next weekend. It's I can't like come I in. I just got the lightning cable. God damn it. Like, oh my God. If you no one goes from, up your ass. <laughs> if you switch operating systems, do you have to get new ports? You know, if you go over to the cortical brain, was the, you have to get the cortical Was the part? original the try, the white, yellow, yes. and red? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 You, hey, you're, yeah, because that would be a, like a, an offhand line in surgery. Yeah. It's like, you're lucky. It used to be three cords. Yeah, now exactly. they moved it all into yeah. one. Yeah. Now we have HDMI. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess we got to... So, so we right can relate here, to this movie. Yes. There's, like a, there's a layer of, like uh, I guess it's a suspension of disbelief, but it's very Cronenberg, right? Mm-hmm. Where he's building a world that doesn't exist. Mm. But you understand what the it's like. He's yeah, he, a very aware dude to be able to bring that stuff into um, uh, those ideas into a weird version of it. Like yeah. the ideas that we understand, mm-hmm. but then all of a sudden we have a playable uterus in front of us. I don't know yeah, why I keep calling it. It just feels like a it uterus. It does look like it, but well, you do. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. shaped like that. Yeah. 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 And you, you do play it by uh, uh, flipping it. the nipple and then massaging what appears to be a clitoris in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, you masturbate the whole this thing, thing to play it. Like start squiggling around in it. This is your this this is how the controller for this yes. right. world. And then Because it's interfacing with you. Mm-hmm. How? With the, yeah, uh, you power it through you, your you, we, we are the battery okay. and then it meshes with your nervous yeah. system mm-hmm. so that anything in the game feels extremely real. Yes. So it's a uh, so basically we're talking about virtual reality. Yes. Right, but you feel everything. Yeah. And VR was really like a yes. mainstream thing. He mm-hmm. was kinda like making There's no headset, no goggles on it, nothing. Yeah. It's all I wanna check mind. that though. When did the like the VR headsets and everything start coming out? Where if okay, not as no, not advanced power glove? Like before this, right? We yeah. had some and, um, stuff. Was- but what was the what was the Nintendo Game Boy headset that gave everybody <laughs> headaches that they had to cancel? Well, that what was that like called? Oh, no. Virtual Boy or something like there that? There was Virtual oh. Boy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he, he knew that it was coming out, but obviously, you know, the real technology. I mean, we've come a lot mm-hmm. further along from that. Not yet. I mean, I know they're talking about haptic suits and, mm. you know, things that you, you can actually feel. I was going to say, know? when they get to the point where I can feel something that's virtual, then... Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we're done. Isn't that what the movie uh, <laughs> signed me up? Ready like, what are you saying? No, not it. Ready Player One. <laughs> surrogates, that Bruce Willis movie, yeah, surrogates Jesus. like yeah. that, right? Yep. And he goes and sees strippers in that movie, right? Yeah, he goes into yeah. virtual reality where he I think the only difference books. is that he has hair. <laughs> well, there, when you're actually, you never leave your house, you control a surrogate. Yeah, you're, oh, like, on a be- right? yeah, yeah. you're like on a bed and you're yeah. just chilling. And it, yeah. So, Which is, I think, the future of Michaela rather than bog witchery. It's just like, oh, I can send something else out in the world? Yeah. Let's do that. She'd yeah. just be slapping yeah. people. Well, that was the whole like pitch of that movie was like, there's no risk because no one's real, so nothing's well, dangerous. And it's like, that sounds cool. Like, yeah. You can kill that, someone you know? because they're not really there. Yeah. They're tucked mm-hmm. away safely. But I love that what he chooses to do, uh, go to the strip club. Like that, <laughs> like he's too shameful to do it in his real life, so he has to send his surrogate was to the strip club. Was he a detective in that? It probably was. <laughs> probably. Anyway, in his surrogate. Yeah, he was definitely yeah. a cop. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so... I um, mean, this I mean, this theme, like it... it comes back like every couple of years right like something it does like, yeah like don't worry darling yeah. we just did this don't worry darling and, yeah um serenity serenity yeah serenity. Like, yep. we do this every few years yep. <laughs> Virtual because it's reality. terrifying no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. And in charge of it all is Mark Zuckerberg. And <laughs> Serenity was the worst because of who was in control in yeah, that movie. But yeah. Apple's got a new one coming out. <laughs> Apple's going to do like the best version of VR. Am I right? What, what is crazy? Whatever the headset thing. They've got, they got, they got a VR oh, headset. Okay. Well, oh, that's because they wait for everyone else to do it. Yeah. And they yeah. cherry pick what parts yeah. to do. And then we're like, we're actually going to do the real one. Okay, so uh, <laughs> who's in this movie? Jennifer Jason Lee is ah. Allegra Geller, the world famous game designer, mm. which like. The way people react to her, I am I would say the analog for us is like Twitch stream girls, right? That are like have a really dedicated following that will like buy their bathwater and shit. <laughs> like oh. yeah. Yeah, like that's like kind of the vibe I get here. So <laughs> but <they're> Swifties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um and then Jude Law is a marketing trainee that is working the door at this event. Yeah, yeah. quote unquote security. He's got the wand and nothing else. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, the event. What's yeah. the event? They I mean, are I've, doing been, like, I've been that guy. I've yeah. played security. Oh, yeah. You are, sometimes at work, you just get thrown into jobs yeah. you didn't sign up like, for. Like, don't mess with me. I have a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Do you um, just tap someone? He's like, don't mess with me. Yeah. Just tap someone on the head with it? Obviously. They are beta testing the new Existence game. And Allegra Geller has designed a bunch of previous games. Um, 
and she's known for like quality design and it being so real and so all these people have like they're like big fans of her so they're coming to co- test out the game mm-hmm. yeah because i guess that's what i was kind of getting in this opening thing was like they're talking about games we're led to believe it's you know some kind of virtual reality thing i was like are we actually going to see this game like what is it about it because everybody it's like transcendental you know Everyone is worshiping her mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, because she's changed their life in some way. So mm-hmm. that's where video game designers like occupy in this, you know, the space in this movie. It's like if there was a big cult around like Steve Jobs. Yeah, that's kind of like. I mean, well, you say, I mean, you, uh, a more. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I don't have an argument against that. Never mind. <laughs> it is the same. Yeah. But you say cult, but the opening scene, this does take place in a church. In a church. Yeah. 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 Not it, a coincidence. I can only imagine. It feels like an AA meeting, too, because it got really the does. And coffee at the table and back, yep. and she comes in late. I was like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. yeah. It's like really low tech. A lot of this yes. feels low tech. Like anybody else who would do this story, it feels like they would do. How you do it, right? With uh, a sky portal would open up somewhere, and oh yeah, yeah there'd you know? be blue Shiny lights, and yeah. white buttons, buildings, and things. And, you know, yeah, yeah, there's as far as technology yeah. goes, very the whole world tech. would be at risk in this game. It yeah. would not be this small yeah. in scope. But the that's minute for sure. I knew something was off about this mm-hmm. is when they showed the coffee table, and instead of like regular like coffee cups, mm-hmm. they had actual like porcelain teacups. Yeah, they were like very intricate like mm-hmm. floral teacups, and I was already like, okay, something's already off. Yeah, it's <laughs> called being in Canada. <laughs> oh yeah, I imagine Maybe that's the Canadians to just bring. Like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring your fine china, eh? Yeah. We'll be careful with it. We promise. Yeah. No, they've got Hortons. They don't. No, they Jude, don't have those true. fancy cups everywhere. Yeah. Jude Law plays a Canadian. How convincing is he? He's pretty good. He you does know, a pretty there, good there's, job. There's a few yeah. stories and boots and yeah. everything. Yeah. Like trout. Stuff. The way he said trout was like trout. Trout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trout farm. The trout farm. Yeah. yeah. No, it was really good. Yeah. Um. So these two are in this event, and then what happens? What dramatically sets the story in motion? Um, We see this kid trying to come in earlier with Jude Law, and he has, like, an older version of the game console, and he's like, I brought it, whatever, and Jude Law's like, well, you know, you can leave it, because they're they're providing everything, leave it at the door, check it, But he scanned all his stuff, he's like, well, you're good anyway, but you're not going to need it. Yeah, Yeah. and uh, so he sneaks in with what we think is his port, and then he unzips it, (laughs) so it's like a port purse, and pulls out a gun. But not just any gun. This gun is disgusting. It's made out of bones and <laughs> yeah. flesh. It's and an organic sinew. gun. Yes. And what does it shoot? Teeth. Teeth. Yep. <laughs> Only David and, Cronenberg. And uh, he shoots Allegra Geller in the shoulder while she's still it's, ported it in. It's an assassination attempt because yes. he makes a declaration. Yeah. It's I like, mean, what does he say? Death to the demoness yes. Allegra Geller. Geller. That yeah. is one thing I love about watching a Cronenberg movie, though, is that like you never know when it's going to get cronenberg Yeah. Like, yeah. there's going to be right. something wasn't expecting that. that you don't expect. Because other people, there are gu- guns still exist. This guy yeah. just happens to have a, a yeah. flesh gun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but these are like the sci-fi Cronenberg movies are like, you know, it's like they take place in their own world. Yeah. yeah. The fly doesn't feel like this. The fly feels no. like it takes no, place in, in our world. this world. Mm-hmm. A lot yeah. of the stuff, um, you know, like Naked Lunch, I guess, takes place in its that own world. That is a weird movie. Saying, yeah, think. but he was doing that stuff before. I mean, Videodrome yeah. takes place in, an, it's like, it feels like our world, but mm-hmm. the, all the technology is different. Did that, you know Jamie Heineman from Mythbusters built all the little animatronics for Naked Lunch? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. yeah. There's some good animatronics in that movie. I mean, it's yeah. weird. Oh, was he working wow. for Chris Chris Wallace? Was mm-hmm. the the head mm-hmm. designer or mm-hmm. whatever on on that movie? Movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they, they they have a um, you know, it's like it's like our world, but there's all these different rules. You don't really see like a lot of um, the technology outside of. Where's that chapstick been? <laughs> Sorry, he's yeah. asking that because that's a plot point, but yep. uh, you know, outside of the main focus of the movie, Sorry. right? I think the only yeah. like, technology that we saw was the pink phone. The phone was pretty cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, like, the little, it was like yeah. a pink. It was like a flesh. You ever you ever just pod. grab play doh and then squeeze in your hands? Yeah. And this feels like but it was that shape was when you're <laughs> using it. Yeah, yeah. There's no speaker or anything on no. it. It's like here's a phone in the future or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I mean. Um, look- it looked like a vibrator. Yeah, it, it looks like well, everything looks. It looks yeah. like things vaguely. Was it the egg? Yeah, is that the looking? Yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. looked like that. Is that what makes Cronenberg's stuff? Um, There's some sexuality, uh, sexual, sexuality yeah. to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's part of it. Yeah. Because what do we have here? If you were checking off the list, you've got 
well, the the port. That Tonguing looks like... the porthole? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, fuck <laughs> oh, I forgot about that scene. Was... Is, that, I did is not. that like gleaming the cube? Like tonguing the porthole. Yeah. Yeah. Tonguing the thing. porthole, yeah. Well, she says something about like your porthole is excited. It's just excited, you know. As she's yeah. fingering yeah, this very, the porthole. Yeah. Very sexual, puts her yeah. finger in it and it's in his lower it's back. Lot, you know, yeah. it's all about like insertion. There was a lot of licking before insertion. A lot of yeah. 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 Like, and he even says like he doesn't have a port yet because he's scared of being penetrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> so what okay so uh i, I mean you're talking we're talking about all this port stuff mm-hmm. uh it's obviously a uh a port on your body so you can connect mm-hmm. to this uh-huh. thing um so she's uh, they go on the run mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. she survives the assassination attempt she's been shot mm. with a tooth in the in the shoulder <laughs> yes. and so they're the getaway crew and so she's like so what's the motivation for him to join her on this uh, video? Chris Eccleston game? tells him to. Yeah. He, Basically. He literally well, says, yeah. you know, you you it, you have to protect her. Yeah. Don't trust anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, th- yeah, but I meant the motivation for him to join her in the video game world because we find out he does not have oh. a port. I yeah. guess that's the thing. So he's going to be a character that we... The way that he experiences, like, the first time going through all this yeah. stuff is going to be f- easier it's, for the audience right. to yeah. get. She needs it's to make the, sure yeah. that her por- her, uh, her, pod. her pod is okay. But yeah. the only yeah. way she can do that is she got to be there with someone else. She taps into his world's... empathy because she's like, it's suffering. It needs you. You know, <laughs> yeah. she really taps into I'm surprised it didn't but... look over and go, Mwah! <laughs> like <laughs> they have little chirping sounds. Like, it she was... does talk about it, yeah. though. Like, it, almost, it is alive. It almost does. Like, she's like... St- it, I think that's what's so fucking weird is that everything is like innately sexual, but at the same time, she's like stroking it like it's her little baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like so fucking weird. Other yeah. than it like having, you know, eyes, arms, and legs and shit like that, it is like a, a fleshy living thing. I mean, they say as much in the movie and everything, yeah. but so, you know, you can't, you feel for it? I don't. Okay. <laughs> As gross. a living human thing. It's fucking gross. Is the grossness too much? But at the end of the day... Gross the, things are alive too, Holly. At the end of the it's day, she doesn't really care about saving the thing. She cares about saving the data in the video right. game. Right. She, she and I don't give a shit about saving a video game. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. There Not is, to the extent they go to in this Right. Movie. There is a level of importance put on these things yes. that you have to accept. I'm not risking yeah. my life to save data files. I'm right. sorry. No. Not. Like, right, that's the you have to yeah. accept that level of it while watching this movie. Like, Otherwise, I, you're going to think it's ridiculous. It'd be yeah. like, why are these people? This like, is I, not that I, important. I see her obsession with it. Like, she's like, this is my, you know, my life's work the last five years and $38 million. But I don't see Jude Law's motivation. Right. Because it doesn't, at that point, it's not something bigger than that. It's like, this yeah. will eventually help humanity. It's like, no, this is a video game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so, literally just to escape reality. Right. Yeah. So her, her, and the importance she puts on it, I don't quite feel right as Jude Law it's, doesn't. Well, either. yeah, I don't think he does. I think her importance, she's seeing it as like basically her child, right? Yes. I mean, it yeah. is as you like would the if you spent that much time and money in, in an intellectual uh, culmination of five years' work. Him, we just have to get, I think, that in in order to get the, the plot going. The movie, yeah, it's like the movie he goes, goes, Well, I kind of like you. Mm-hmm. And so, sure, I'll, you can put a hole in me. Yeah. So, how's that happen? How do you get a bioport? <laughs> this go. thing that we've enter about. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who will put a hole in you? But there's a great visual gag to enter Willem Dafoe. So he says, "Where will we go to get one?" You know, because it's unlicensed, unregistered. It's like black market port. So um, he's like, "Will we just go to any country uh, convenience store?" Country and then the name station, of uh, yeah. country gas station, and then the name of the gas station is country, country gas station. Gas. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like that's a, such a video game thing because they just give generic right. names yeah. to everything. Yeah, and his name is literally gas because that's his name. Yes. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. But that is like the naming system of everything. Yep. There's Chinese restaurant is mm-hmm. the Chinese, Chinese restaurant. Waiter. Yeah. yeah. Trout farm yep. is the trout farm mm-hmm. everything's like yeah. <laughs> just yep. on the nose labeled um so we they should have known they go to the gas station attendant willem defoe yes. great in perfectly this role. cast yes. yeah um always he's uh, always perfectly cast mm-hmm. because you know game. it's willem defoe and you're just like okay i know what to expect yeah <laughs> and he worships her mm-hmm. i guess that's the thing when he figures out that it's her like you know right. like, you changed my life and he's a gas station mechanic as yeah. he tells us but Several he's times. right, and there's questioning of that as well. It's mm-hmm. just like, well, yes, I do that on the very basic, pathetic level, mm-hmm. but I also get to go into the game, yeah, where yeah. I live my best life. Yeah, yes. it's very much Inception. They come yeah. here to wake up. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> who yeah. are you to tell them otherwise? <laughs> I guess that's I the thing. It. Yeah, there's <laughs> other movies will explore. Like, would you ever even wake up out of a, a mm-hmm. virtual reality? Do you live a better life there? Um, Can you get stuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we've all seen those. Uh, this one, how do you get the port installed? A gun shoots it into your spine with an epidural. Mm-hmm. Basically. You ever seen Yikes. how... Uh, uh, no Country for Old Men, except, in the, yeah, bottom, no except on the bottom of the spine. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he chose... I'm curious as to why he chose where to put the port story-wise, rather than like, you always see yeah, it back in the neck. neck. Yeah. Back in the neck, right between, you know... Yeah. Uh, it's more sexual. It's more sexual. Above your ass. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That, no, that's it, exactly Seriously, yeah. all, that's those, exactly all those shots where it looked like they're fucking doing it, and yeah. when they're trying to insert it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Michaela even said something out loud and it was about fucking the, fucking the back hole at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. It, it, oh, again, yeah. Very I sexual. freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> I freaked out. I was like, he's not going to fuck her more, is he? Because <laughs> <laughs> don't like it. Yeah. Wait, have you seen Crash? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> there might know. be a scar tissue scene. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, Cronenberg. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was a, a, a so concept convinces, right there. She yeah. convinced him to get the port, and uh, I mean, Willem Dafoe like it's a it's a little gun to mark the spot, and then a big fucking gun to punch mm-hmm. the hole in him. Yeah, and everything's dirty, and his hands are greasy because yeah. it's a mechanic. Like and, the, yeah, it's like the, the it's like the, um, the the weird like tech stuff that they kind of explain the around this. Is cool. well, that yeah. is too, but like it's like we're gonna shoot this port into you, and it has its own epidural, so you can't feel anything. It has some kind of antiseptic thing in it, so you, you could infected. I could do this to you in a slaughterhouse, you still wouldn't get infected. Mm-hmm. Like, there's all sorts of, like, Cronenberg covering himself for these questions right. that some people would ask, even though the whole thing is ridiculous, mm-hmm. right? Right. <laughs> I mean, it is, cool. it is, but at the same time, I was like, why is he not washing his hands? Right. Yeah. You, you would worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is base level stuff. We yeah. Gotta, yeah. We got to at least cover this. Um, it's bad enough I'm getting an unlicensed, unregistered port. Can I at least be not infected? I know? was already mad at the scene when Jude Law's like fishing the tooth out of her out of her Ugh. shoulder because he's like just touching the blade. I'm yeah. like, stop! I know. I thought he was right. If, if they had had the one level bigger uh, Swiss Army knife, it would have had the pliers in it. He could have just pulled it out. Yep. Yeah. So, but it turns out, uh, oh, they plug into the system. And she and, just doesn't mm-hmm. care that he's still paralyzed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And it shorts it out. And so... She's what did like, she claim he did? That he had a neural surge. A neural, and, uh, yeah, right. He yeah. panicked, and it caused, like, a surge and mm-hmm. fried the system. Yes, sparks. But it flew. turns out it was Willem Dafoe who was actually, like, playing for the other team, and yes. he's... Uh, it's installed like, there's a reward on you. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. He installed a, purposely installed a faulty port, so that mm-hmm. shorted oh. out her system in an mm-hmm. attempt to kill both her and the game system, yes. which mm-hmm. we know is alive when it's powered... By your body, so mm-hmm. after killing Willem Dafoe, where are we off to? We have to go and try to. Well, save... he wants to kill her because there's a five million dollar bounty on her dead. I mean, that's specifically, a that's or a, is a it? lot of money. Yeah, in the future? I mean, yeah. Oh, in no, the future oh, is yeah, a lot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We, don't know. we have no yeah. idea, right? But but uh, he's a poor mechanic, Colin. You know, uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Five million's got to go at least a little farther. He's working at Country Gas. <laughs> yeah, but God is a mechanic. Yeah, God, yeah. God is a mechanic. Yeah. yeah. Because he played her last game, mm-hmm. Art God. Mm-hmm. Um, so <laughs> the explanation for that I liked. I was yeah, like, okay, like, that game sounds thou, way better. Thou Art God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's probably just The Sims. Probably. Yeah. Say, yeah. Yeah. What, what the, yeah. at that point, what they thought of, yeah, yeah it was probably yeah. that, yeah. Well, they have to repair the, the pod, so that takes us to Ian Holm. And mm-hmm. who is he? They are like... <laughs> They're on a ski lodge, Colin. They're, Duh. They yeah. do like... Surgery. They're they're well. They're veterinarians for ports, basically, right? Yeah, they even which say is what, that. Yeah, you know, way, in a, yeah. a denigrating sort of way. And they're like, yeah. they're, they're, back, uh, they're nothing but veterinarians. Yeah. They are back alley geek squad, basically. Yeah, they yeah. Are. Mm-hmm. but they are like the actual corporate. Like they work for Antenna Research, right? I think he yes, says, because like, oh, that it's comes back later. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but this is, I guess, the thing. But they're doing know, this like off the record shit. We never yeah. go to a city, but you know, there's dialogue about like, well, the countryside is, you know full of um, product developers and system designers and all this other stuff. So every single person that we run into has this kind of unassuming, you know, they work in this like A-frame ski lodge, Mm -hmm. but nobody skis for real anymore Mm -hmm. because we're in the virtual (laughs) world. Yes. So this is where they develop um, the the flesh pods, Mm -hmm. right? They assemble them or put them together or something like that? No, well, that was at the trout farm, but... Well, that's the uh, that's that the, the parts that go in parts. it. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. The guy, these are the yeah. guys, the fix. brains that put them together, mm-hmm. and so that's why he can fix the uh, mm-hmm. hers, right? So there's like mm-hmm. a surgery scene. 
A very long one. Yeah, and he's ripping, th- like, did he reconstruct it in a, into a new pod later? Because he's ripping the shit yeah. out of her old pod and taking yep. it apart piece by piece, and he must reconstruct it into a new one later. This is a lot of cool, like, practical effect work. A Everything lot. practical, mm-hmm. except for that little that two-headed little lizard. lizard. Other than that, yeah. everything is bad. disgustingly practical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but when you do see a CGI thing in a Cronenberg movie, it just sticks out so It does. Much. Uh, That's so the thing. Bad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's like, you can't, you can get away with it less, even yeah. more so. I, I, I'm trying trying to wonder why he did the CGI lizard like what yeah, I couldn't find right. out right like it. that seemed but like it would be an easier one to like do like a puppet when she was like petting there it there is yeah. parts yeah. where there, there is a puppet, puppet where she's got yeah. her fingers on it and it's kind of so, gnawing at her a little bit but the rest yeah. is yeah. CGI maybe it had yeah. to move too much for it I don't know it it's doesn't weird. move that much though there's like some, a, some crawling scenes yeah but I feel like it's not enough to I don't know no but they're like showing off that it's CG is new and here's the thing but it's like why are you doing you know like and what maybe that was his experiment like I'll do I'll do this part of it CGI just to see yeah. everybody else yeah. going to be practical I, as I think back I'm like why did, would you do it and you know it's some mutant salamander thing that you know because it, it was adorable like sign of the too. times you know mm-hmm. the mutant uh, fish thing but <laughs> is, it, is it to clue us in on what level of reality we're actually playing with by the time we get to the end of the movie yeah, we'll come back to that and, well, I mean it, it helps considering where they get the parts for their stuff mm-hmm. later. Yeah. So it's a good, uh, small introduction to that. Mm-hmm. But that, that things are weird. But that doesn't even make any sense because of what happens next. Because if you recall, they go up into the vacant, you know, whatever. One They're in a room, chalet. <laughs> and they plug in. And so now we're actually going to go into existence. So right. Which I was waiting for. I'm like, about if yes. we go this whole movie without getting into existence, I'm <laughs> right. pissed off. Because yeah. yeah. I didn't you know where we were show going. Us what the video game yeah. looks like. Yeah. Right. Okay. So into existence. So, we lick our Cords, we yeah, plug in. Yeah. <laughs> there is like, a, uh, like, or you lube it up with your chapstick. Yeah, yeah. there is. They yeah. got lube the hole. You poke the hole. A little yeah, bit. You finger the hole. No, oh. <laughs> this uh, this hole's so. It's, yeah, it's gross. <laughs> Welcome to a Cronenberg movie. Yeah, yeah, people will be entered. <laughs> yep. So, um, <laughs> they go into existence, which basically mm-hmm. means they kind of come awake in it's like yes. a, it, yeah. this, I like the shifts because they're gradual mm-hmm. well then you are just like Jude Law because he also likes the shifts yeah it's yeah. like is this usually seamless like that it's like an interlacing and I like how she, she talks about how it's like you can get it you can get brutal cuts to it mm-hmm. you can get uh, pretty fades and mm-hmm. everything like how like you can it's like you can buy add-ons for how you enter <laughs> a level like if you're a masochist or some shit yeah. it's can like you, this can be hard if you want it to be can you imagine the microtransactions in a game like this oh my right? god oh my uh, pay extra in to game, do anything. In-game purchases? Oh my so god. Many. Yes. You're gonna get <laughs> rich off this. Nickel and diamond the shit out of you. Like, But it's weird. They're like, this is all about, like, it's kind of, um, uh, like, these games are, like, spiritual experiences or something like that. Like, the, the, the way they're described. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's what they're described. And then they're all of a sudden in a futuristic GameStop. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Right. And it's very funny. It's done, I think, very well because it's very funny because the, the, Game pot of the future is a tiny little thing compared yeah. to what they've had. It's just a little baby. <laughs> it it, like it comes kidney. with its own. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It comes in with its own little chapstick and yeah. everything. It's adorable. Mm-hmm. And it like crawls into your spine, yes. wraps around your right, spinal yeah. cord or something like that in order mm-hmm. to get you into the next game. Yes. Or no, that's to give you your identity. In the- that gives you your, your personality for this new game. Yeah. 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 Which- <laughs> so... A lot of See, this uh, is and, where the microtransactions and, would come in. You would pay extra to get a better personality yeah. and better stats. Sure, yeah. yeah, start out rich yeah. and with cars and shit. Mm-hmm. But they they have entered the game now, and so they're kind of learning um, how the game works. This is where we run across like NPCs and stuff like that, and how yeah, you interact with the environment, and how those characters will interact with you, mm-hmm. especially if they don't get the right prompts. <laughs> yep. So yeah. we're so we're learning what they need because they'll repeat stuff. Um, until you like mm-hmm. give them the correct prompt, use their name, stuff like that, mm-hmm. to continue the storyline. And I'm like any good video game, there's options to persuade and to lie. Right. And that's, so, that's yes. what's great about this was made in 1999, and it still works. Yeah. Today, with the way we do gaming and everything, is this the best video game movie ever made? Well, well okay, <laughs> not you can't say that because video game movie we think based on a video game. This but is this is better than all movie. of those. This right. Bigger, There's not well, a good one not, that's adapted. Right. But, this I don't is, think but this is talking about video games. Right. right? Not, being, not being a video this. game. Yeah. But it has it, a video game narrative with yeah. it. It has like three of them with But when it. you see a yeah. video game movie, it's like based off something. But it doesn't have to be. 
I think they all have been. When we, I, I mean, think Stay when Alive you... is also a video game movie. Uh, that one Gerard Butler movie. Gamer. That's a that's a video game movie. Yeah, like there true. are video game movies that are not based on existing. Right, but games. I think I think the 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 term usually means based on something. Well, but, as far but, as we understand, but, today. Here's, I guess but the, none of those are good though. Is still well, no, my I, point. I'm not saying so, they're good. I'm just saying <laughs> the, the understanding of the term. This one has a perspective. Would you say on video games? Does David Cronenberg like video games? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> well, I think I think we say yeah. that. Okay. Well, then, like, is he talking he, about like does he, he is it video games you know, or virtual reality? Yeah, what I think there's he, a difference there. Okay. You know? Right. And I think he could still like them, but have a lot of uh, thoughts on them, yeah. and then be able to comment on them. You can do all that. And is still this like movie a game. warning about video games or no. warning about virtual reality? No. You don't think so? No. It could be. Uh, What's the warning here? That you'll just get lost in it? Yeah. yeah. Like it warps reality and people yeah. won't be able to tell the fiction from truth. And- right. But well, I think, that, it, I think it most sincerely is based on the really, ending. I don't like that that tiptoes into like the thought that video games make people violent. You know, that's really, mm-hmm. really towing that line by saying that like this drives behavior, you know? Mm-hmm. So well, I mean, she explicitly seems like a conservative point of view for him and, to take, you know. And whether the whether you know that he shares the characters, um, you but know. does he share a conservative point of view, and also the opposite of that point of view? I mean, but movie? if the message of this movie is you can get lost in it, then because the people are shooting each other and thinking well, it's not she, real, right? She explicitly so says that, that feels there's like a, a very message. like schizophrenic. Like it's almost like mm-hmm. he's suggesting that virtual reality will create a schizophrenic. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. psychological mm-hmm. situation in the user because you, if you can't tell, right. yes, mm-hmm. you know, right. artificial from reality, mm-hmm. then right. you, you know, you, I know it's just that's the argument usually leveled against video games. That's what's sad. I, that's why I don't like read true psychologically. It's just it. like yeah. w- figuring out what's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think he, I, he's just like, I like this discussion. I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have an answer for it. He's just like, well, put the shit out here and make you think well, about it. Well, I mean, it. that's why artists make that, stuff yeah. is just sometimes to kind of stir explore the, yeah. the, the mm-hmm. idea. Well, I mean, that sounds more they stir, but yeah, I think yeah. mm-hmm. they usually try to come to some kind of like conclusion for themselves. But what's the conclusion of this movie? It do- well, I don't feel it like, I feel it like it doesn't it's kind of good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he, he comes down on like virtual reality is, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, is, is going to be a problem. Well, you know, like a psychological, create psychological. Mm-hmm. Problems it is and- definitely, I guess, if you if you're looking at virtual reality movies and Ready Player One is on one end and this is on the other, right. it's definitely an anti yeah, you know yeah, movie because yeah. that that movie's like it's awesome. Even poor people get to do it, you yeah, know. Yeah. So um, yeah, in- this seems maybe more uh, elitist as far as people getting uh, into the game and mm-hmm. just like being picked to be in it. Although well, this was a beta test, though. Yeah. That's yeah. usually, they usually are randomly selected. Well, yeah, so I've done a couple beta tests for games and entered a lot more than I got picked for. Michaela, you know? are you still in that game? <laughs> <laughs> Can you no, tell? I so <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shoot you with this tooth gun right now. You tell me how it feels. Well, um, I guess there's, uh, you know, how to to prevent the schizophrenic, uh, you know, um, mind break from happening because Jude Law is always basically he's the one who's like, I feel very disembodied from my body. Uh, my you know. Body. Uh, she says that you know. Um, well, actually, he find, figures out there is actually a way to, to. He's complaining about dissociating, dude. Welcome to mental illness, my my dude. You know? Yeah, but that's <laughs> what it's saying, yeah. right? Um, uh, how, oh, my dude. Well, yeah, yeah. Except, <laughs> you except finally made it. Yeah, he can pause his. <laughs> yeah. His, oh my god, I wish I could pause my I mental pause, illness. Pause. extends. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the best part. <laughs> Did uh, okay. So I I don't I don't think I've seen Vanilla Sky, but Vanilla Sky has oh, yeah. a scene where you can he can like uh, summon tech support, right? <laughs> I have not seen. I have Vanilla not seen Vanilla Sky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoops. I, I so, did not know what that movie is yeah, let's, about. Let's, yeah. let's not continue talking about that because I think uh, we may be ruining that for us. <laughs> right. Sorry. Uh, right. So he summons, uh, he, he he pauses the game and is able to wake up. Well, this is, I mean, we are in, well into their mission because they have gone into, uh, they've gone another level deep, as Inception would tell <laughs> yes. us, because they've talked the to an NPC character mm-hmm. who has told them what to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, suck suck this controller into your back and uh, see where you go from there. So they go to the trout farm right, where they make the... Well, like, it's, it's the trout farm's the cover like for what f- they're actually uh, doing. Yeah, they're yeah. farming parts for the pods yes. from 
amphibians. Amphibians, but it's also fucked up amphibians. Yeah. Because yeah. Of Genetically like, mutated, engineered. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they yeah. found out they're tasty, so he yeah. also opened a Chinese restaurant yes. <laughs> where you can eat the other parts of it that we're not using. Yes. I thought that was funny. And he has the Jude Law It's a great way to yeah. use every part of the animal. Yeah. It's, it, that's a very video game thing, too. Like they, right. Everything is always connected around one thing in a video yes. game community. Yeah. Always. And then you, yeah, because yeah. then you just learn, like, oh, it leads to this. Yeah. Oh, but it also leads to this. Yep. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it continues the, the yeah. story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they make the parts of this trout factory, and the, his coworker there tells him to go get lunch at the Chinese place. Scott Stapp, ask, yep. ask for the special. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, Russian Scott Stapp. Russian Scott Stapp. Yeah. yeah. Um, you have any nourish? No, no, no. That's Ian Holm. <laughs> oh, no, nourish. No, no. Uh, no nourish, nourish is, is a guy. different guy. No, it's, is, it's is it that guy? guy? It's that guy. Does he just have longer yeah, hair? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. where I got Everybody's up. hair changes depending on what. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Jula gets cool hair when he yeah. goes into it. He's always, he's very. Oh, they get the over video the game character upgrade. Yeah. You know, when you make your character, you make it look like you, but better. Right. That's yeah. what they, that's what happens to them. They get like an upgrade when they go into the video game. <laughs> this is sounding better and better. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm, that's what I'm Except for the whole revolution and, <laughs> and the back port and, and the fleshiness. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they go to the Chinese restaurant, they ask for the special, and it is like this big bowl of. Oh, and they do the the in time persuasion lie that you do in a video game. Uh, it's her birthday, you know. Right. That is an excellent reason for the special. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. And this is some great NPC leaves. acting. There's some, yeah, scene. there's some yeah. good stuff. Yeah, in this in these mm-hmm. moments that again still are felt today mm-hmm. with how we play video games yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. But all of these locations, like this restaurant, is gross. The everything's, everything's gross. gross. From gross. top to bottom, this movie's gross. fucking gross. <laughs> Because like, it's all it, oily or gooey. Dirty. Just, the, yeah. There's a layer of like lint on everything. And right. the scene in which like he starts digging through the disgusting, but, the but special. I don't want to watch this ever again. Uh, like, I don't. <laughs> because he feels compelled. I guess that's the other part of this I, game, apparently. He's like, I can't is, fight if I were, it. Yeah. If I were to ever meet Jude Law, I'd be like, what did that taste like? <laughs> yeah. What were you eating and what did it taste like? He's these are the questions I want to ask. You could probably look it up to see what he actually had to eat for that. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably, probably but I want to, yeah. I'll save it and ask. Di- whatever it is, it's dyed green. You know, it's like, Ugh, just like what, is they're it peeling just, skin ugh. off of it. It's in the Foley yeah. work is t- too much. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh yeah, sound design <laughs> is on point. It's rough. It's, it's and it just goes on for you want the, as long as it takes him to assemble a tire gun. And he pulls his bridge out. That has the teeth on it for the bullets, but he doesn't have a bridge in real life, so bridge? it's just in the game. Yeah, right. So it's a, yeah, he's assembling the the the, the flesh, flesh gun. gun. The, yeah. Well, yeah, but the bone gun. irony is, is that we saw that in reality right. at the beginning. So somehow that exists in the game itself. Right. So I, I like w- when that happened. I thought like, okay, are they in? Is he the character? <laughs> Like, like that we saw earlier, this game or something, or or is it like is this game set up to end up being like that, mm-hmm. where he is the assassin of someone? Right. Right. Well, he, he says right there, he's like death of the demon. That's like the same which thing. is not her character name. Right. There was mm-hmm. a scene also that I can't explain, even on watching it this time, where he, uh, you know, eventually like uh, ends up separated from her. I think uh, they're about to have sex in a mm-hmm. in a storeroom. Yep. And all of a sudden, he wakes up in the trout farm and then he finds her and he says something to her yeah. like outside of the game like you know hey it's really realistic how blah 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 and she treats him like she's an, a virtual avatar yeah and i don't know the explanation for that i think the game does what it needs to do and hijacks the people mm. it needs to to get the narrative done i mean it, even if you're a player well, okay, had you he know, not it's like mentioned... when you play a video game and you yes. only have two options yeah. of how to do something yeah I think because he didn't mention the chinese restaurant until yeah. the second time she went yes. through the process right mm-hmm. right yeah. so i th- well, like she said earlier because she explained it mm-hmm. you have certain character uh certain bits of everything that will come through whether you know it or not yeah. kind of as long as you don't it's programmed it, into it you will yeah. automatically yes. come out. it will yeah. automatically come out and you'll find it yeah. and you know it mm-hmm. won't it won't be under your control so i think that was the part I, he's got to mention the chinese restaurant tour before she can break out of that story and go in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and i love though that like it's like they're about to have sex and it's almost like a cut scene and then it cuts to him waking up the next day because like every video game if what the there's worst not a sex fucking scene dream? It, it about to have away. sex, you wake up on a yeah. fucking trout farm dissecting <laughs> weird amphibians? But like, whenever they need to do gaps in time in video games, it's always you just go to sleep. And it, then you wake really up is. and you're somewhere else and something else is happening. So that yeah. was great, yeah. Right, and then the backstory will come. Yep. And you're like, okay. Oh, I don't remember what happened last night. And then that character gives you a rundown of what And then happened. you walk yeah. into the kitchen and like, yeah. oh, there's five dead bodies. Yeah. What happened? I must figure it out. <laughs> and then story. There's so many video games that are just about uncovering lost memories. That's so many video <laughs> it games. It really is. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, they, that's life. <laughs> he, he, that's, <laughs> I mean, the truth. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, he oh, feels compelled in this scene to kill someone at the restaurant. Now he's yes. assembled this gun. Like, because they're getting urges as the characters in the game. Yeah. He's which the ultimate care, and he kills his waiter for no reason other than he has the <laughs> urge to. He had the urge know? to do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I mean, is that saying something? I don't know. Like, you just kind of, you go with whatever is in the video game because you're told to. Yeah. And which we do. I mean, Bioshock was one of the great, I think, yeah. video game narratives. That actually questioned why you, the player, were making mm -hmm. the decisions nice. you were making. Uh, so, this, but this predates mm -hmm. that. Um, so they kill the waiter, but then there's like a flip around where, like, it turns out that you were, you know, he uh, was your contact. Yeah. He was working with you, and yeah, you, and, and you, you killed, killed him. him. Yeah, yeah. And but then on. is 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 Russian Scott Stapp is not a good guy who was. Everybody's double crossing. Yes, them. there's yeah, double basically. agents everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, which begins to make it feel it gets like confusing at it this does. Point. Yes. Yeah, the, the, so the the, where they almost start losing me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm well, just like mm -hmm. I can't quite keep track of who everybody is and what they're doing. I don't know if you're, but I don't know if it, ma it doesn't matter. To. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're not supposed to. That's the whole point. I got the impression yeah. that so much of the plot like didn't actually matter it was just like and then you know you got to go do this and then you got to mm -hmm. go do this it was more right. like every time you know they had some objective to achieve it was more listening to how jude law and jennifer jason lee were talking yes. about it that was what was important what was mm -hmm. what they were actually doing was like whatever yeah. right. so he's like i feel very you know i don't want to be here i don't you know like this i feel really weird <laughs> you know like that was more what we that was what we're supposed to, to mm -hmm. right pay attention yeah to. yeah it's um, hard though when they're giving you they're giving you lots of stuff on this. You're like, does, are you trying to figure out what matters? Yeah, because mm -hmm. he's hard even saying one. like, I don't know. I'm going somewhere for objectives that aren't defined, and I'm trying to, you know. So it gives you that kind of Kafka esque. I mean, they're mm -hmm. going through like chicken wire fence <laughs> hallways and mm -hmm. all. The, it just feels very oppressive and all that. Um, they have to. Um, I think uh, they 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 find a for some reason a diseased. Uh, a diseased port in a barn. A diseased well, the video, gamepad, the game the, console. The, yeah. yeah. What do they yeah. call it again? Support. Pod. 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 That's pod. Right. I keep saying pod. Pod. Yeah. Pod, pod, pod. I keep. I gotta remember that. And she feels compelled to jack into the thing, even though it's clearly. Don't like, say jack <laughs> in. Uh, yes, but you're right. <laughs> I mean, does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping in tone with Cronenberg land. Uh, you are. You are truly. You are truly. Yeah. She feels the urge to plug into this yeah. and mm -hmm. to. Were they looking for it? Because they keep going back to this the trout farm, which is in a fucking barn. Mm -hmm. Again, it all feels very dirty mm -hmm. yeah. considering yeah. what they're doing. But they go back there because they're looking. F are they looking for that specifically? Yeah. This is the game within a game, and it may not matter. Somebody left it for them, and they yeah. were supposed to go find it. This is right. their contact trying to put them. So, but there's, there's but there's factions. I guess that's where the yes. game story is developing. Is that there's factions yes. of. Uh, video game. She's a video game author on the run, I think, yep. basically. And then there's this like the realist movement, mm -hmm. uh, right? Who is all against the the kind of virtual reality of the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually militant. And there's this whole yes. like you know cold war or you know going mm -hmm. on between mm -hmm. these two factions, and it's very confusing. But she jacks into this thing and ends up somehow getting infected by it. He has to cut the umbilical cord and it sprays blood all over and she's like I'm bleeding to death, death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then the thing unleashes a bunch of spores that are going to infect everything in the, the, the it's, factory yeah, it's like you know uh, uh, you ever watch the net center bullock yeah. Mm -hmm. You know when the virus comes in and just starts eating away at the web pages? Yeah. That's what this felt like. <laughs> I have not seen the like, the, only, the only way you now can I'm know it's being though. the yeah. virus is working as you see all the information get eating away pixel by pixel. Did they I, have, I they have modems the in that movie. No. We didn't watch it? No, we have not watched the net. Yeah. Uh, great movie, by the way. Yeah, I've never seen it. Love that movie. <laughs> Watched it. That was like the first the, the the internet uh, alarmist movie, right? It really, yeah, 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 it really yeah, was. Really You'll never look at floppy disks oh, the same way again. Seriously, oh, okay, yeah. okay. ninety five. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah. man, it's, they still yeah. had dial up it's, modems, right? Yeah, and it's okay. a co star Dennis Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So in order to uh, uh, save uh, her, they have to go back to Ian Holm. Am mm -hmm. I correct in this? Right, mm -hmm. the yes. ski lodge, and. Uh, but the, the 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 pod somehow, or no? They wake up. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they wake up in the ski lodge. Mm -hmm. But yeah. oh yeah, because everything started because uh, Russian Scott Stapp comes in and he's like death to whatever again, and he sets everything on fire. Yes, he well he burns the pod that releases the spores. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, spores everywhere. But then, how did it, yeah? How does she get to Ian Holm? I don't. 
Um, they wake they, up. They wake oh, up they wake in up, the, yep. in the mm-hmm. chalet. Right. And there's like a bombing going on outside. Mm-hmm. Well, because her yeah. her pod is infected in the yeah. quote unquote real world. They've right. woken up and somehow there was some there's... sort of bleed over where yeah. the infection Oh, yeah. Rea- them. Reality bleed over. So the, the so she pod. She was like giving it, it an injection and giving Jude Law an injection because his back is now infected mm-hmm. too. And Yes. This guy's having the worst day of work ever. Horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, re- yeah. It started like five hours ago. He was, he was fine. just supposed to wand people into a seminar <laughs> and then sit there. You know? Yeah. So They're next time tag. that you think you're having just a calm, cool day and it's yeah. early, <laughs> yeah. think about what could go wrong. Yeah. Who knew? Entry level marketing job, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> But that is when, like, the... I'm just an intern! It's something I wish had been yelled out a lot during this movie. <laughs> but isn't that when the full-scale war, like, breaks out? And it, yeah, yes, 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 it really yeah. does. Because, the again, like you said, the her, her the, the pod we've been looking at has, has been infected. She gives an injection. There's a whole thing for it. Yeah. Um, and, the windows explode yes. at this point. Uh, the military comes in. But this is a guy who's been introduced earlier. He was the... The nerd working the desk at the GameStop. Yep. Yeah. Um, beforehand. So we recognize him as a video game character. How right. can the same guy be in reality yeah. and in the video game? Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's also they meet Ian Holm. Who... Ian Holm pops out of nowhere, well, doesn't well, he? Well, yeah. Duder shoots the infected pot and yeah. destroys it. Yeah. Oh well. well uh, yeah. 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 It's on the bed, and the guy you know, shoots it all up and everything. And this, like, is oh, where, no, yeah. well, this is where my whole. This is where Jude Law there. tries to convince. Um, Jennifer Jason Lee, that uh, I think your pod is fine. I think we're still in the game mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, we have to go and find your pod. Yeah, and so they run away from all that. And there's and it's the the scenes of war as they run mm-hmm. outside of the chalet. Things are blowing up in the background. There's yeah. gunfire going off. It's a war. And Ian Holm looks like Red Dawn shows up. So yeah. then, actually, <laughs> is it between the realists and uh, the video game people, or is it between cortical systems? And antenna research because I think I think the real he admits he's a double agent. Yeah, but uh, cortical systems was a was a brand in the in existence. Now that we're out of it, it's like now that somehow. But he says he's with cortical systems, and he said he remember he copper he copied the neural network and basically duplicated her game. So he stole her patent basically and went to the rival company, and so he's like, "Come with us, and we'll make your game happen here." Yeah. 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 But also, the realists are also in this in the background shooting Mm -hmm. and everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, Ian Holm, and then oh yeah. Then, then she takes gets, it upon herself. Yeah. She grabs the gun yeah, after, yeah. because Ian Holm has shot the military dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then she kind of doesn't know, according to the movie, where she's at and everything. Yeah. And so she grabs the machine gun and kills Ian Holm. But then Jude Law is like, what if we're not in the game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if you just killed a real person? Going and back he's like, to what like the, the fuck? Theme. Are you going to kill me too? Yeah. 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 He's like, so you actually killed a real person. And, you know, yeah. and she's like, no, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then he's going to kill her. But. Because he then he isn't he doesn't he reveal himself as like you know I'm you know it's like yeah. this is the moment I've been waiting for right yeah. he's been out, a double agent I've been a double agent the whole way along well she says it and she's like she's like I knew it was you all along you were the one that was sent to kill me mm-hmm. yeah. right with my yeah because yeah, she talks about being with my assassin and everything earlier on she had decided to plug his porthole. And that is not a metaphor, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> and it's supposed to blo- like heal the infection, right? right yeah. yeah, yeah. And so yeah. she's been holding this blue thing He's in got her a hand. Plug, yeah, yeah. yeah. And her, the whole time she's like, "I knew it was you," yeah. and I made sure of it. And she oh, pulls the thing and boom, she blows his back out. Yes, <laughs> she really does. Yeah, she yes, blows she his back. Yes. Out. yes, she does. And then she starts screaming, "Have I won? Did I win the game?" Did and I win sure the game? Enough, she wakes up in the church now, surrounded by a bunch of other people. But this is like a reality that's closer. To our reality. Yes, I like <laughs> when I started doing this because certain things like a little thing appears. They've on her got head like a little like hat and thing like on. a little old power but at glove first, and everything. Do you think it's like it's like upgrade armor because she won? Right? No. Yeah. Well, because uh, they first cause show it, it just on her. Yeah, because it looks like pieces from her rollerblade. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. she won the level, so she get the new armor because you beat the yeah. mission. No, it's, because it's, as soon as it started happening, I'm like. Fuck! Yeah, they did I it. I know it. where they're this going. Is the, this yeah. is the act, another version of the, right. the virtual yeah. reality. Right, and so they go setup. back into it, a more realistic version of yeah. the reality. I'm just like, God damn it! They fucking did it because yeah. I'm like, where was this movie going? Yeah. <laughs> because as you're watching this, there's many places this could go, and where we circle back around to, I think is 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 great. Um, I really like the ending of this movie because we start coming together again. You see pieces of like gaming armor on her and then they do wake up back in is it the same church Uh yeah same church uh, they're all sitting around but everyone that is revealed has been in the movie we've been watching so far so ian holm is there as a as like a regular character regular player of the game um uh what's his name from doctor who 
Chris oh, Eccleston. 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 Eccleston, yeah. Eccleston's there. Everybody, yeah. every just, character yeah. you've come in contact with is yeah. there as a regular person who has been playing the game yeah. thus far in the beta testing. Yeah. In the beta testing and the conversation that comes out of it because they yeah. everyone takes and the real like, the real designer of the game is like, all right, I think we're all coming back now. Yeah. Everyone, right, everyone right, joining right. us. And so, <laughs> it, but it's a but, and then they get into great kind of gaming conversation, which is revelatory to what has been happening. Is like you were really good in that. They talk about how people did in their roles mm-hmm. in the game mm-hmm. as they're coming out of it. Uh, about how it's like, I wasn't in the game that long, but I actually thought the character was pretty boring. Well, that yeah. to be oh my that God, guy yeah. That you yeah, right. Up. If yes. you go into the game and then you're... <laughs> you finally got in beta testing and you just get murdered in the first five right. minutes. <laughs> yes, that would suck. Well, and just like... These two are the main characters. And everybody else is an NPC. That sucks. But is the game, I think that's random. See, yeah, because the impression I get mm, is that they pick the couple to be the main characters. Like, well, no, two people it, knew it, each other. It's even though the narrative of the movie says but that, you that bring, has to be you the case. Bring, it seems like the game, the both existence and this transcendence, transcendence or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you the players plug into it, and the game somehow sorts out your psychology and yes. creates a scenario. Right. Based on what you're... But wouldn't you be right. offended yeah. if you they thought be- your psychology was good yeah. enough to be an NPC and yeah. nothing else? Right. Yeah. Well, later. Like, That's yeah, great. Cool. Like, God damn it. What I, I, have to do? I need to work on myself to be a better in-game character. He didn't even have a name. He was just Chinese waiter. Chinese like, waiter, yeah. I would be offended. Right. How right. stereotypical and bullshit. Yeah. yeah, that guy should be pissed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he might have a suit on his hands here for some discrimination. <laughs> but, right. Yeah. Is this okay, the type we'll change that in a different... Yeah, we'll have a patch Would it be like, well, I mean, you brought that to the game and it's like how you so, you know, like, but I don't know how this works. Yeah. I, right. But yeah, you can blame that. I was like, you brought it to the game because yeah. apparently you can bring something into the game with you that. I mean, will- to be fair, this is his moment to be like, I have a note and that's pretty racist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. And I think that is part that's of it. That's literally the point of beta testing. Yeah, that should have been part yeah. of it. It's like, I have a, I have a thing. Yeah. It's like, if, we, if we're in beta testing, I'd like you have not hate- the Asian people to not be directly like. If you have a Asian hate crime would- built into your game. Can right. you not? If all yeah. Asian people would play this game end up in the Chinese restaurant. I have a problem with this game. Murdered? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but everybody right. has accents too. Like Ian Holmes, like you know, yeah. right? My accent was so thick I couldn't even tell him what I was saying. <laughs> that, that was funny. Time. Yeah. That, it was funny, but that's I love those conversations about where uh, the, the because it's about the entire g- movie we've just been watching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and so it says a lot about that. And God damn it, it makes you want to go back and watch it and look at the stuff. <laughs> and but then the, the the designer sits with Sarah Polly, who shows up here mm-hmm. at the. She's been facilitating the game apparently. Yes, and is like you know I was kind of disturbed by the game we just played. There was a very big like anti game designer yes. uh, theme and to it. And she's like, oh, really? And he's like, oh, they murdered the game designer <laughs> yeah. immediately. Yes. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, she's yeah. like, oh, I see your point. Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't be more clear, you know? They yeah. were pretty uh, mainstream with that message, yeah. And, yeah. But apparently that wasn't enough warning signs to when Jennifer Jason Lee and Jude Law come up to them and like, well, now we've played the game. You are the greatest game designer. They in the come world. up to them with a full Hold dog. On. Yeah, this Continue. is my favorite supporting character. <laughs> this, in this is movie. wonderful. Yeah. Well, because this dog has been in the game. Because the dog right. took the yeah. gun to Ian Holm. Yeah, and it's my Ian Holm's dog. dog? Yeah, okay. It's yeah. this big Irish wolfhound. And and they're really like setting it up. So you're like, okay, the dog is going to do something. Because yeah, because the she, dog was Ian, it was Ian Holm's dog. It was also the dog in the Chinese restaurant. Yes. Right. Yeah. And it's and, the dog that brings the gun. Yeah. In the game. Yes. Yeah. And while they're doing the beta testing, the dog has just been been babysat, basically, because Jude Law says, thanks for watching my dog for me. And yeah. you're like, okay, why are they showing us this? And they walk over to talk to Sarah Pauly and the other guy, uh, Russian Scott Stapp. Yep. And they're like, oh, you know, that was just great. Best game experience ever, dude. Meanwhile, pull the fur off the they back. They pull half he's, the dog off. He's got, false, he's got like a fake fur on the top. <laughs> he has with, a dog toupee. He has a dog toupee. <laughs> yes. Pull it up, and he's got a holster with a gun on either side, and they pull each grab a gun and shoot them. <laughs> And I was like, best use of a dog in a movie ever, maybe? <laughs> like, to was. smuggle guns for you? Poor doggy like, was, like, scared. He was though. scared, yeah. <laughs> he, he was really, like, shuddering during, yeah, like, the fake gun I shots. know, but, Aww. man, I was but, like, I want to use my dog in creative ways like this. But that that reveal that those two characters end up being the, uh, uh, assassins? the assassins yeah, yeah. that... And, uh, like, so, th- yeah, well, go ahead. Well, uh, <laughs> I was going to say up- about the realist movement, but what does it exist? Is it just them? Oh, I think it's probably I mean, we we don't officially know. I don't think, but I I think that is was brought in by them. So I think yeah. that is a thing mm-hmm. they, at this moment. If it, if it's not just starting right then, it's you know either what I mean? it's either just them or it's either just them and they think it's big, 
or because it's that was big. brought into the game yeah. by your psychology. It's big. Yeah. yeah, right. Or yeah. it's just them. Either, it could yeah. be like a couple of two people who have loose screws. Yeah, it might actually regard. be a big thing, or it could just be them thinking it's a big thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. But that's a great, and uh, so they uh, they assassinate the game designer and his assistant, um, and they're they're going to leave, and they they're heading out, and they're going to shoot the Chinese waiter, the, the Chinese waiter, <laughs> and he's like, "What? What?" Whoa, whoa. He's like, "Wait, are we still? Wait, tell me the truth, are we still in the game?" <laughs> yeah, which that is Black. the point of the movie, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. like this you can't tell this when... ending <laughs> made everything before. I'm just like, okay, love it. Great, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess uh, we're going to tell you whether or not you should watch this movie. No, let's just cut to black right now. Like really just <laughs> let them figure out the meaning of what we thought of this movie. <laughs> yeah, we should do that one time. Just cut to black at some point and not give our reviews. I mean, we are podcast NPCs, you know. We Pretty repeat much. the same dialogue every week. Uh, That's true. Uh, that is very true. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will tell you what we thought of Existence. How do you spell Existence? E capital X capital X capital Z yeah that's it that's they don't how. spell anything else yeah. they just say capital X capital Z yeah so it's or talking, transcendence it's ex existentialism yeah. Is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah you're gonna call it all in a question okay so uh, but first we're gonna uh, we, we will we will go around the table and tell you what we thought of it first we're gonna answer some of your mail in order to do that we're gonna have to summon our e mailman and his name is Igor bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, right, thank you, Igor. Who's playing Igor? He's probably got ports somewhere, <laughs> he's, right? Uh, he's got a couple ports. Yeah, he has. He does have yeah. to unport. This before is he comes his in game. Here. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> we're, we're all in Igor's we're game. His, Igor yeah. designed this game. Yeah. We're the NPCs. That's yeah. fine. Well, you I'm just okay with that. NPCs. So there you go. In Igor's game. Well, thank yeah, you very the, much. We're the sidekicks. Where, where he has like, oh, okay, I have to go check the mail. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He has to make sure we're sitting in the right seats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he's walking into a wall. Yeah. So we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this exciting interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or X. Oh, uh, at Saturday Freak Show. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's X. By email. <laughs> Saturday Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or Instagram and threads <laughs> I don't at want Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> uh, so MF Matt. The keeper of the Saturday oh, Night yes. Freak right. Show Wall of Fame Hello, wants sir. to Ian Holm. Uh, Willem Dafoe. Oh, hey. Hey. all right. That's Congrats. a good one. Yeah, I feel like we're in. collecting trading cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we got a Willem Dafoe. We pulled a really we good one. Yes. <laughs> uh, so what else did we watch that Willem Dafoe was in? Fuck. <laughs> Was Antichrist done on the podcast? No, we haven't done Antichrist. Oh, oh geez, But we okay. did do Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, what? Uh, yeah. Hey, yes. We did. Oh, that, was a that is not a Christ Christ movie. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We did Antichrist no. down here. Uh -uh. Why the fuck did I watch Antichrist then? Because it's know. a fucking weird movie. Because <laughs> it's a Lars Montreux movie. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done it here. Why did I watch Antichrist? <laughs> Have we done a Lars Von Trier movie? I don't think we I even talked think so. about him, but I don't think we've no, done no, a Lars Von Trier movie. That's weird, because I've, well, I've seen it. I, I've seen Antichrist, God, uh, <laughs> but I can't imagine why I watched it on my own. Yeah, Michaela, it's please a, don't bring that. It's feel good watch. <laughs> I yeah. don't okay. want to watch that. Uh, he was also in Streets of Fire. We did Streets oh, yeah. Of Fire. That's right. Streets of Fire. Okay, okay, okay. So about tonight's movie, Existence, Adam Kaler writes in and says, it's one of my favorite Cronenberg movies because it's so weird and it's about game. Gaming. My question is, how does marketing convince the gaming community that the future is consoles made from organic creatures? And if you want to play the new Mario game, you have to let it wrap itself around your spine. Maybe they can offer a free beach ball or tote bag to sweeten the deal. Yeah, the pre-order bonuses would be <laughs> stupid like that. Absolutely. Right. Uh, uh, the answer is time. Over time. Mm -hmm. Over time. You yeah. introduce little bits, and over time, you get them. You go, That's like, it. this yeah. is just That's how you like do it. like, the yeah. way I see the society, we're not far off. Yeah. Yeah. No, Actually, you just inter introduce little bits that, uh, you know, yeah. attach or plug in or what have you. Eventually, we'll get there. Yeah, because yeah. we're uh, stupid. Uh, strange days. We already we, do. No, we put nobody. in earbuds. We'd like, right. we're we on are, our way. Yeah, right. We just got to make them fleshy pods that <laughs> yeah. we put in ears, and there's no difference. Do you remember how horrible Google Glass went over, though? Yeah. That shit would get so hot on your head. That's because it wasn't stuck right in our eyeballs. You need contact lenses that do it once it they get was, there yeah. Yeah. once we get there then we're all you know geordies from star trek uh michael whitaker says ah the matrix but weirdly phallic 
Well, out of all yes. the reality isn't what you think it is movies from the late 90s, this one is definitely the grossest, but still kind of cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's right. The Matrix came out the yes. same year. Oh, yeah. 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 Plug in. Um, Imagine if it was two like umbilical ports instead of two pills. It's like, which one you want to plug into, dude? <laughs> yeah. Red port or blue port? Oh, why is it red and blue? <laughs> uh, Apple Eva writes in and says, the organic and visual eeriness, second only to the Alien series, Takes some getting used to in the beginning of the film, but then you remember it's a Cronenberg film. Mm. Mm-hmm. Always a provocative viewing experience. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, B. Shaw Foolery says when Jennifer Jason Lee's character tries to placate Jude Law's apprehension over the ports going directly into his body, <laughs> she just opens her mouth and laughs. Those are not the same thing. <laughs> That's what Holly there said. There was a discussion yeah. about yeah. about open uh, yeah. open ports on a body that can lead to infection, and she yeah. just goes, eh. and and it's like open. the mouth is an open port. Yeah, and it gets infected. I had a, a real lot. problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, two weeks ago, we watched a movie called Demon Warp. Oh, yeah. Uh, Richard Kratzer, we asked, uh, you know, because there was a lot of discussion on that show, whether or not uh, you grew up with a uh, uh, irrational fear of bear traps in the woods. Yeah. Oh, Richard right, Kratzer yeah. says, yeah, that's a thing. I was afraid of bear traps, quicksand, killer bees, man yes. eating sharks, <laughs> Ebola, <laughs> ozone depletion, spontaneous combustion, yes. planet killing asteroids, super volcanoes, nuclear fallout, alien invasions, and the rapture. All plague my child. I'm still afraid of and super volcanoes. That. that is yes. the truest thing anyone <laughs> has ever said. Yeah. You just wait for that super yeah. volcano to wipe yes. us all out. Yeah, that was very specific. You nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Instant 100%. recall. Yeah, 100. <laughs> percent That nailed it. Yeah. Uh, Owen Johnson says exists from 2014 is mm. a pretty good found footage Bigfoot movie okay. from one of the creators oh. of the Blair Witch Project. Oh, all right. The poster okay, looks like it. a generic a. Well, it looks generic as fuck. But don't let it fool you. It's pretty decent. The Bigfoot looks good, That's too. That's so funny. That just popped up on my, like, recommendations, was, really. Uh, yeah. Didn't it just pop up on... No, Creed popped up. Something. It was, yeah. like, <laughs> on that main different. menu screen. I, I was watching Exist something was the other night, and it popped up. Yeah. Uh, he also says, of course, Night of the Demon from 1980. A Bigfoot guy... A Bigfoot rips a guy's dick off. Uh, Night okay. of the Demon 1980. There All we right. go. There you go. So Night clearly, of the Demon? Just one demon? Yeah, yeah not the old... The classic, not Night the good of one. Demon. Yeah, Night of the Demon. No, Night of the, the Demon, which is a Bigfoot movie. 1980. All right. We put Demon in the title. Okay. Well, we thank you all very much for uh, writing in. Uh, we appreciate it. We do it, indeed. Every and week. now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie. Holly! Mm. Did this movie penetrate you tonight? And how do you feel about that? It violated me in many ways. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I hated it, but I also liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, fuck. This movie is really gross. Very gross. Really weird. I mean, I mean, it's Cronenberg. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. it's gonna be gross and weird. I don't know. Um, but I liked it. I don't want to watch it again, but I liked it. <laughs> again, Cronenberg. This, this is a lot of movies yeah. just like, I got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I, uh, yeah. This is, I don't even know what That can be it, Holly. Yeah, no, that like, I, I think that is it. Okay. This is the worst video game ever, right? <laughs> like, be, like this is the worst I've played video game ever. Video games not unlike this, though. <laughs> I've played a shockingly stressful amount of video games. Like, right, it, it, like when they're have you played video games where you just yeah, like Second Life or some shit where you're or like Sims, Sims where you just where you just you well, are just the Sims doing is different shit. though because you're like God, right? True, you true. Know? But do you ever just play it one day for like four hours and you're just like I'm gonna go for a swim today. I'm gonna cook. Some I eggs. did much darker shit to my Sims than Jesus. Than that. All right, yes. how many people did you murder? <laughs> Oh, a lot. You put them in. You, 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 tell them, you tell them to go swimming and you delete the ladder and they can't get out of the pool. They just swim. They drive. Right, I've never played. Interesting psychology I've never, I've into I've never, the player. Uh, the I never played Sims. The Sims I know is fun. Yeah, no, it's no, fun. I imagine. Yeah. Fucking, I, know, I, like I don't think I ever got those, into these yeah. because I knew I Dude, would spend eight hours a day. Oh, it's addictive as fuck. Drowning yeah. people. If you, yeah. if, in the Sims, if you're character has too many kids they get depressed and they neglect <laughs> they get depressed do they, they drown the children the no the kids get taken away by cps <laughs> <laughs> see that's the kind of realism it's i want fucking wild. <laughs> and if you're too rich people break into your house all the time so burglars. <laughs> yeah it's, it's weird, oh, i love this game, man. Yeah. Okay. okay um you've been through some scenarios i've played sims a lot yeah so i i am not a gamer mm. fortunately i know enough about gaming that i understood right. this movie and what it was doing mm-hmm. um i would say that if you are someone who has zero idea of what the gaming experience is like you might be a little lost you're gonna be lost and you're not gonna like this movie um so i, I would say you have to have some knowledge of how gaming works and how the the narrative is and right how the, it will add to the fun yeah 
Yeah, because like I said, I know time. enough mm-hmm. about gaming that I followed it and I, I was fine. Good. But yeah, if you don't have that knowledge, it's not going to be a good movie for you. Yeah. So I will say keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's a it's a weird movie, but it's something. Um, I I did a, after we were out of the beginning for a little bit. I was like, I bet they're still in the church. I bet this is they're going to circle because back. Because that's what this. that's what I'm always thinking. Yeah. Just like, at what point are we going to go back mm-hmm. to where we were? Yeah. Like, I was like where, I bet where, every not, something here is not correct. Yeah. Like something here is not real. Which you always yeah. got in the back of your mind. Yeah. Um, I like that it was like a completely different scenario. Like it was like, okay, this, I mean, the entire thing was the game. Right. Um, and it wasn't just back to that original like scenario, not that right. original like people and everything. Um, so I, I at least appreciated that that was, I didn't see that coming. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, it was very, it was very inventive. It was, it said a lot. About what? I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I'm going to recommend it with those caveats. Make sure you've got some sort of knowledge about gaming um, and know that it's going to be really gross and really weird. But I'm going to recommend it. Sean, what would you think? Uh, gross, weird, but I think ended up being uh, very fun. Again, I, like we said, you do need some knowledge of gaming in general just yeah. to enjoy it more. Mm-hmm. Like it can be a movie that you just watch on mm-hmm. that, but you'll you'll have more fun with it. Uh, if you do know more, um, man, after that ending, like the rest of it, like surprised by the movie, um, uh, especially if you've ever seen the title of this movie, Existence, it looks like a shitty 1999 computer game. <laughs> yeah, like that is the font and the. the it would come in a two put, pack with mist. Some, yeah, something <laughs> yeah. like or, that. Like I know this might not relate to you guys, but this looks like a 90s church group. Oh, d- I okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand because that. Because they would yes. always put like a weird twist on a word you already know. This, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Like, Welcome like to church. Exist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. All right. Very I understand so. that. This it, is like a youth group. But which, but, but like, yeah. I felt like hit a, a peak around this time it, that absolutely. they would be doing that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was like, because I was in those groups. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Holly was in Existence and Transcendence, which would be small group names. Yeah. I was a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, in one called Uprise. Oh, see, yeah, 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 exactly. And Um, but I mean. Uh, uh, never seen it before. Like I, but I maybe I should have seen that ending coming, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> but when it came up, like I really enjoyed that twist. How it, it it goes back on everything you've just watched before it. Um, yeah, like obviously gross but fun. Like mm-hmm. I in in the middle there, as we discussed, you just like okay, what is important for the movie? What isn't? What is just the game that they're in? Like, what do I need to take from the middle of this movie that's going to help me with the you know with the rest of the movie and how I feel about it in whole. Um, I don't, uh, sorry, I said in whole. I know that's <laughs> triggering for after <laughs> watching mean, this movie. We've, we've crossed the line a long time ago. That's fine. <laughs> but uh, other, like, uh, yeah, I had a good time with this. I was very surprised. I didn't know if I'd like existence from 1999 because movies around this time have a certain flavor, which you either like, or you're just like, ugh. Um, liked it. It was, I, I thought it was good. It's, it's David Cronenberg. So, you know, it's squishy and, and, and gross fleshy. and everything. It, it very, fle- very fleshy. Like mm-hmm. describe David Cronenberg in one word, fleshy. fleshy. Mm-hmm. Probably there it is. Um, I'm going to recommend it. Uh, yeah, I had a good time with it. I liked it. I like what it, I, I like what it said. I like that they made this and he made this in 1999 still reverberates to today and, and it's still recognizable in the stuff well, uh, you know, we deal with today and everything. Yeah, uh, I think you'll get a lot out of this movie. I recommend it. Uh, Colin, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, inventive. It's a movie of uh, a lot of imagination. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a dark and twisted imagination, but it's a singular thing I'm from David Cronenberg. I guess that's the thing. It's like he's like a cinematic artist, right? He's uh, one of the few, I think, where you, like I said before, like when I watch his movies, I feel like the movie is him kind of exploring some subject that uh, he's grappling with or whatever. And as we, you know, I've been sitting here thinking, like we're talking about it, like it's about video games. And yeah, it seems like uh, he's more concerned. It's uh, Maybe that's what I, I get out of it. There's a concern from him about the idea of virtual reality Mm -hmm. and how it could possibly warp the world. But as I'm sitting here listening to you guys, I'm like, you know, it's also about something else. And that's like religious fanaticism, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think at one point there was worship. That's what it felt like at the very beginning Mm -hmm. of this movie. Yeah. 
But it's the idea that you would kill someone because they have an ideology opposed to you. Uh, Ian Holmes says something as a throwaway line, like, who put this fatwa on you? And that's, you know, the first time I ever heard that word was about Salman Rushdie, right? Because uh, he was an artist like David Cronenberg. The idea, it's an anxiety movie. It's uh, that someone would target an artist for the art that they have produced. And that's actually like what's happening through this whole thing. But there's a a third level and that's like, it's critiquing um, like storytelling. They're, they're constantly like making references to like, well, that guy's performance wasn't very good in this video (laughs) and the writing and how he delivered it. And, you know, it's like, they're making an artifice and actually talking about like movies themselves. So he's talking about video games, VR, religious fanaticism, uh, does art, you know, kind of affect the, you know, how does it affect the populace once it gets out? Kind of like in the mouth of madness or Wes Craven's new nightmare. I mean, it's like in that. And uh, in the middle of all that, there's tonguing of a porthole. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I you mean, get everything. There's a lot to, you know, <laughs> digest in this movie. And I guess that's kind of what you expect from David Cronenberg. He's one of the guys working at the top of his, you know, when he's working and working his bra- big brain. <laughs> there's a lot to uh dive into there mm. so yeah i mean i would uh 100 four stars you gotta you gotta check out <laughs> existence uh michaela what did you think colin what if i told you that in 1995 oh, no. david cronenberg did an interview with salman rushdie for shift <laughs> magazine <laughs> oh, and no, learned, no. while he was still in hiding and learned about what a fatwa was Oh. And that inspired the Allegra storyline. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> wow. Holly, I think I know. Okay, we you will probably game. know where I'm going with this. But this is a Kirby enthusiasm. <laughs> this does not sound like an episode of Kirby enthusiasm because Larry yeah. David got the fatwa put yeah. on him in like season three or whatever. I love but, that. He got a fatwa put Yeah, he did. Yeah. It was oh a whole God. season story arc. It was hilarious. It's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> that <laughs> might be my favorite season. Yeah. But, but I'm imagining a Kirby enthusiasm episode where he, hear, where he hears bits and pieces of that story and assumes Existence is a biographical movie about Salman Rushdie and goes to see it and it's just like Cheryl they were they were putting like pocket pussies in their back these kids like <laughs> it's just like how he would describe the movie to her and like 100%. yes I just like it, Kirby enthusiasm it works for that, everything oh my but, god yeah, the that's Fatwa the consistency story, yeah. of, of the of the flesh yeah it re- oh shit yeah yeah, um, it yeah. really is. Yeah. <laughs> they do look like something you yes. fuck yes. and that yes. is on purpose yeah <laughs> okay um damn no, uh, my husband first showed me this movie like seven or eight years ago. I'd never seen it. I'd never even heard of it. This movie didn't get what like did a proper release. What did you think of him after <laughs> well, watching it? I was under the influence of things, so okay, right, it was that's like true. a you different experience. That. But I really enjoyed it the first time I saw it. I mean, I was familiar with Cronenberg stuff, so I knew it was going to be weird, right. you know? Um, but I was surprised to see how many like stars were in like a Cronenberg movie. That's what surprised home, I'm surprised. Me. Yeah. I mean, he gets a yeah. lot of, in a lot of his stuff, doesn't Yeah, he? but like, in like 1999 Cronenberg, to still be pulling people like that, you know, it's not like the fly era Cronenberg. But yeah, I really enjoy this movie. I think it might be my favorite Cronenberg movie. I think it's one of the more accessible just because like, like you guys said, if you have an understanding of video game mechanics, you can kind of see where it's going to go. And I play a lot of video games and I'm impressed by how well it holds up given that like, yeah. Like, I don't know, like, it reminded me a lot of, like, Grand, the- I- Grand, Grand Theft Auto, Auto yep. yeah, and, like, the way, like, how you make one mistake and all of a sudden you have five stars and all the police are after you, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. that's very relatable, and I suppose there was probably at least two Grand Theft Auto games out at this point, at least two, maybe even three, um, right. but, yeah, no, I love it, it's gross, it's weird, but it's it's fun, and I love the, like, yeah, how many layers deep are we, are we gonna get out, what reality yeah. are we in, like, I like that it does it without it explaining to you every step of the day way what's happening it tells you yep. just just what you need to know and nothing more so mm-hmm. um and even there's some points where it, mm, you could probably call it a weakness in the script where like was like i don't really know how this works and you're like like sean you even called out you're like oh that's convenient this doesn't <laughs> yeah, know how this yeah, works yeah. you know there is some plot conveniences like that but i feel like it's a movie most people haven't seen so i'm gonna recommend it I really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I think most people may get turned away just from the font. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah I saw that poster be like, I am not watching that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Give this the criterion right, release. That may yeah. have been what put me off because yeah. I'm like, that looks it's bad. bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it what is bad. It is of the era. Even yeah. the the, bar, or the poster it's art. Kind of, yeah, yeah, the poster looks Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not good. Well, yeah. Give us some nice criterion release with good artwork. There you and, go. Somebody you know, reappraise like that. existence. Mm-hmm. That's what we're urging. Right? Was all four. Yeah. All four of us. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. Okay. Jack in. Watch. <laughs> Jack in to exist. Jack yeah. in. Jack in. Jack on. Whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, well, next, it next week. Yeah, stick it in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next we're done. A movie, that, a movie that sticks it in you yeah. <laughs> and doesn't let go for body. an hour yeah, and a half. Yeah. Oh, yep. Colin, stop the madness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. Just because he says goodnight doesn't mean it stops, Molly. <laughs> uh, Colin, what are we watching next week? Next week, well, I mean, we're well deep into the Halloween season right Ooh. now, so it's the 20th anniversary of Robert Wolfgang Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, wow. <laughs> 20 years? Yeah, wow, 20 wow, years. Wow, wow. Okay. So we'll check that out. It's also coming back to theater, so hopefully you're going to search for it and find our podcast. Is there that you go. Good job. Of course Good is. business yeah. decision, Colin. <laughs> so uh, yes. check us out next week, and until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>